save the world second and I get high first. I'm a mind freak. Check my time sheet. Great. <coughs> Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Creek. It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, ah. Arthur. Long <coughs> owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. So what Trelawney said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you, I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. It's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he is. Unless there's a new breed of special man I don't know about. So, do nothing? Not until I've thought it through. Interesting about those two families. We'll look into it. Good. Like I said when we set off, just start turning the soil. Low profile. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vandalin. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Yeah, okay. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yes. Good. Coming past. Go on. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. like a fine vessel okay come on Arthur let's get her in the water huh? oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here 
You're supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh, okay, here we go. I love fishing on this game. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for... Anything else? <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water. Straight for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck? Good fish. That'll do too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Where's your rod, Arthur? Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something. Than big like a sturgeon. Strong with good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. You got a bite there, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. doing this type of shit on the game. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. I would like to see that. Nicely done, Arthur. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Got him? Oh, he got something. Got a bite. That's on the hook, Arthur. I used to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We'd go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. And out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. Mm. And he replies, well, felt I had to. 
I caught me one. Caught me one. That's why I, I like the smoke for 30 right years. Of course, oh, there he it. is. Oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Let's see what I can get over here. What's he catching? I got a bike. There we go. Damn it, I lost him. Damn. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin, after the ferry mm. job. I liked it there. Still open and Four wide, pounds, the four ounces. Somehow the desert makes you feel... Closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Ha! Got ya! Oh, do not tangle the line. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always <clears throat> see eye to eye. I wasn't I always want a very life, obedient man. child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Got one. You hooked him. Getting them on the first try. It's another steelhead. Another steelhead chop. Yeah, that's a keeper. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Now reel him in, Arthur. Y'all niggas can't catch a nine. There you go. That's a nice one. Smoke before I fish because like 
I don't fish in real life. I'm talking like on this game. It's fucking. I don't know. It just makes me feel like I'm actually there. <clears throat> like I'm on my western swag. Something's nibbling. Four pounds, one ounce. Oh, Art is pleased with that one. Get back over here. Oh, we both cast out at the same time. <clears throat> is that a snake? It is. Arthur's got a bite. Come here. Bring your ass. It's like playing Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi when you gotta do that. Or Budokai. <clears throat> Good job, Arthur. He's got to reel him in now, Arthur. He's gone, Arthur. Oh, Fire. my goodness. No, you lost him. No, you lost him. <clears throat> I know, guys. Lines are getting tangled.
You're getting the hang of this. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat, not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me something. I asked that girl to give me some. She said, hmm. wait until the taters is done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Taters got burnt and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we? Dance this round around around, shall we go dance this round around around? And he there is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round around around. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men that do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round around. I think I, well, I mean, we are going to be okay. I know. Well, I always know whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. 
I'll give these fish to Pearson. <laughs> you snapped in the line. I probably got a bronze because I didn't get that fish. That one was too big. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Or I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. For real. See what we got. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already? I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in Rose. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Oh shit, what did he want me to do? I was not paying no attention. We have a hundred and seventeen dollar bounty here. A sixty dollar one at Valentine. Dead or alive in Blackwater. Damn well, please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Is that shit floating?
My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. <laughs> Damn mouthy, crazy, goddamn fishwife. What? Enough, both of you. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there? Gold belt buckle, gold Run, rifle, man. gold spurs. So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunting. And them things hunting us, so they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. If you need anything, Mr. Pearson, maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Oh, where's that letter? Oh, are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, <laughs> We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Hello. <laughs> okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, are you insane? I thought we 
with outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Blew his brain. Blew his brain. I guess this is where they sell the slaves. See that ugly mug. Oh, yeah. Even worse than I thought. No reason to be treating people that way. That's so? The hell's your problem? Hey, shut it. That's the stuff. He attacked me. All right, all, right, all, all jokes aside. What are you looking at, idiot? Well, that's just your opinion, ain't it? I said, what you looking at? Leave me alone, please. Dang it! Nothing. Hello. What do you mean sir? nothing? What's in the park? Let me take a look at you, tough guy. Oh, see, you ain't tough after all. Take it easy, I'm just needling you. You ain't much of anything. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. No trouble. Thank you. Bye now. You, you're annoying me. Look, there's no need for that. Get out of here. Scared ass man. I should have run him down.
Look at you. You're pathetic, my friend. You must really hate yourself. I can see why. <laughs> you mean it, too. You drive. Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And so, <laughs> clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long <gasps> before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. <laughs> well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm hmm Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in the Morn Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. Oh, oh yeah. Think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh. Go, go, go! Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! those reins here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine we showed those bastards huh never gonna get there in this place remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly planning to bushwhack did good but that's a lot of mess to make near camp Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Maybe not. 
Hey, you want me to drive? So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be <laughs> giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of balls. Not a chance. Yeah. You need to get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. How you doing? Let's get it drunk. Come on now, Pearson. How many beers was that? Coffee to sober up. <laughs> Arthur, my boy. Wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burnt. So did I. Taters got burnt. So did I. Life is good. Glad to hear it. Well, here we are, Tilly. Moved again. That's the way it goes.
five hours of sleep, he'll be all right. That stew did look busting. <laughs> he was drunk as shit. Oh, he's starting to put on weight. Where's the boat? I got some hook. Maybe next time. That's the last thing. Well, let's try something new. Look at you. You're a fine steel my friend. Pounds. Yeah, you can stay. After this one, just gotta do my thug. This one got you. Oh, you got away.
Oh my god. Oh, he's tired. Can you catch some small mouse? My gosh. So, Arthur. Is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah, dude, it'll show you when they're starting to put on weight. I'm trying to get them to get fat. people around here they're friendly one of those caskets I ain't never gonna get the hang of this I 
Dead don't care if it's pretty, right? When use. Start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't... I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody. That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh... Well, uh... Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> he said you ain't the first to put your hand in okay. the collection plate. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there under here I'm digging up mrs. Claypole Jesus well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need we're grave robbing real-life grave diggers oh damn it there's a bunch of people here oh I got it I got it look you clear them off and I'll wait right around here but don't hurt nobody we don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed uh, your chance, boy! I tried to be nice. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, exhumation. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella, oh, damn choir boy. Said, no, I ain't gonna mind you at all. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. <laughs> Let's go, mister. Knock his ass out. Who's talking now? Huh? Ah, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right, well, where's your payment? Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? But she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. Hey, that's your more than clear what I, what I owe you. Yeah, you can see his nuts. Line up, Rose. Get your paper. Yeah. Howdy. A very good morning to you. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. <laughs> oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. 
Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. <laughs> Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Should I have grabbed Arch my Bob? gold rifle? Probably. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh. <laughs> yes. I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain... ...of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good Who word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So... These moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace. If they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that Whoa. far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Oh. This must have happened recently. You could try walking once in a while. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. 
Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the break could drink are. a sailor Selling under the table before breakfast. I tell folks don't even speak to him, don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't go right at the crossroads. <sighs> They're right again here. Okay, let's pick up the pace a bit. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with rubber. And we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then time. Shh. 
shit. Hey! We got an intruder! I was about to do his ass dude. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. See one by the bridge over there? this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about you. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Oh shit.
anymore. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when a friend's notice the shine's gone. Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no-good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life on a land so stupid, a backwater, so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me, okay? Should I stash this somewhere near camp off? Yes, show it to Hosea. Uh, I'm sure show he it to Hosea. Find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go. Are you cheating, man? of a rider. We'll see about that. I 
I see him. Nah, you a cheating ass nigga, bro. Sorry, son. Yeah, I'll spare the gloating dust. Oh, I'm not a gloater. Why would I laugh at the fact that you haven't learned after all these years to ride a horse very well? That is a source of great sorrow to me. Very funny. I had fun with you today. Be well. Here? Well, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that.
this here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Gallagher Hall. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Let's go, boy. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Hold on, stand by. I'm gonna switch over to basketball. <laughs> 